Hi again. I'm going to open up an image of the uh, M101, the Whirlpool Galaxy, I took. I think it was in January, I think. So, I'll have to open it from the uh, CD drive. There's two versions here. I, I, well, there's the first one I did, and then I did a second one. And I think the second one has got a bit more data in it. This is coming through Fitz Liberator into Photoshop. Um, it's upside down. Over here, flip image. Go and correct that. I'll take it down just a tad on here. And mark the background. Back up a bit. It's showing a blue colour, but it's not a colour image. It's actually a black and white image with the DSi Pro 2 colour um, mono. So click OK to put that into Photoshop. Now, it's interesting, we've got a, a row of hot pixels. This is the pixels, because I was um, only guiding in RA, this is the deck um, pixel. The, hot, the images are moving. If you counted those pixels, that's how many images it took. So, I'll have to sort that out with the uh, healing brush tool. It's a fair bit of noise in the background. It is a very difficult image to capture this one. But the first thing I'm going to do is go and check how much data I've got to play with. So image adjust levels. Oh, a nice bit of image there. But I also noticed the back. Yeah, if I, I, I've got to bring this back in a tad. That clip in it. So you don't want to go into this black. But just keep on the board on the edge. Let's darken the background a bit. If I wanted to bring in some more centre highlights, I would use the white point here, bring that in. See it going, but it also blows out the core, so you have to be careful with that. Use a combination of black and um, white here. I'll leave that as it is because I'm quite happy with that. Okay. Uh, the next thing I'll do with the uh, abstraction is make the stars smaller. Again, this makes them nice and tight. That's okay. What should we do next? Let's try a high pass filter, as usual. Go to duplicate the layer. Click OK. Make sure the copy is highlighted. Over to filter, other high pass. It's on three, I'll leave it on three. Click OK. Go to the blend options and overlay. <coughs> and it's come up quite crispy now. If I do the usual trick of turning it on and off, you can see where there's some detail in the centre there, which has come out. If I click on the eye, you can see it disappear. I'm going to merge those two together. Right. I'm going to deal with a bit of the background. And I'll try image adjust curves. Again, all I do with this um, is I use the first eyedropper. And I pick an area which is dark in the background. Click it. Okay, so I'll pick the uh, eyedropper. Oops. Pick the eyedropper. And then go into the background and just click. And it's got rid of some of the noise in the background. I'm happy with that. I don't need to play with the actual outputs here. Just click OK. Now let's deal with those hot pixels in the usual way. Go in. Spot heel and brush. It's a bit big, so let's go to the brush and knock it down a few pixels. Take it out to about four, I should do. That's okay. And we'll just click over. Okay, you can come back and do it easy. Don't know if we do it, otherwise we'll see it. I don't think there's any more little tricks to go. Try and 
to um, Moonshot Mask. Straight away, that's far too much, so I'm not going to back. I don't want to make it look too green. It's okay. After the Uncharted Mask, over to the edit and fade Uncharted Mask. And go to light, get rid of those little halos. That's looking pretty good. Try an action for smoothing it a bit. Let's see what should we do. Um, space noise reduction, we'll try that one. Just a thing. That's okay, I'm happy with that. And I think that's a pretty, pretty good image to, to finish there, I think. Do the usual thing, click on the background colour, choose a colour, click OK, go back to actions and give it a nice frame. Astro frame, click play, and it does its thing. Now, if you wanted to bevel that a bit more, let's just shrink, shrink it a bit. If you go to the um, selection tool, click in the border, and it's highlighted all the border. And if you go up to layer, style, and bevel and emboss, another palette will come up. And you can have a kind of chisel hard, a bit of depth. It's giving it a bit of depth, but it's not really what I thought it would do, but it's giving you a bit of a bit more it. Anyway, that's it for that one. I shall see you in the next tutorial.